Hello and praise the Lord. We thank God for this opportunity that He has given us. Today is Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent. At the Cathedral Kiambu, we'll be having a series of the study of the Book of Romans throughout the 40 days of Lent. And today, we start with the introduction of the Book of Romans. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for your gifts of life and for your, the gifts of your Son, Jesus Christ, to us. Lord, we pray that even as we continue studying your word, you may give us your revelation. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The book of Romans offers the most systematic teaching in the Bible about the human dilemma and God's solution for it. It was written by Apostle Paul about AD 57. Romans lays out the major themes of sin, salvation, redemption, justification, grace, and reconciliation. Because Paul is such an outstanding teacher, he communicates with purpose, and no one could miss his objective. And Paul used the following methods to reach out to the people of Romans and to the Christians today. First, he influenced them by building rapport. The first 17 verses of chapter 1 prepare the reader for all that the apostle intends to write. Secondly, Paul influences by creating a dilemma relevant to everyone. He reminds the people how God spoke through creation and human conscience. Thirdly, Paul influences by proposing potential questions and objections then by responding to them and he often brings up a question as though the reader had thought of it then he rationally answers the question number four paul influences by providing feasible steps for the reader to take towards god and finally in the final five chapters of this book, Paul supplies practical applications of all he has taught. Chapters 1 to 11 concern doctrine, while chapter 12 to 16 highlight duty. And therefore, as he concludes, Paul affirms his love for the people and thanks many of them by name and encourages the church to follow those he names as models of the life he has challenged them to live. Thank you. God bless you. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.